Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Hummingbird Finance token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to purchase BNB on Binance, transfer it over using the Smart Chain Network over to your Trust Wallet, and then swapping it for the Hummingbird Finance token. And I'll just like, and I'll just like to let you guys know as well that I do have lots of cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on my channel. So if you guys are interested in cryptocurrencies and learning how to buy, how to sell, and doing lots more in the crypto space, I really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of videos coming out in the future. Anyhow, just stay tuned to this video and I'll show you guys exactly how to get the Hummingbird Finance token. The first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So you're going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on create a new wallet. And then it's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you guys have your BNB into your smart chain wallet, whether you bought BNB on the trust wallet or you transferred it from another exchange like Binance, all you guys have to do is confirm that the BNB is in your smart chain wallet and not in your BNB wallet. If it is in your BNB wallet by mistake, you just want to click on BNB, click on the dots and click on swap to smart chain. Just make sure it's in your smart chain wallet and it will be good to go. 
Uh, so now all we have to do is add the token to Trust Wallet. And to do that, I'll have the link in the description over to BSC Scan, where we're going to copy the contract address and then paste it into Trust Wallet. So if you guys just head over to BSC Scan, we'll just be on the Hummingbird Finance page on here. All you guys have to do is scroll down and click right beside where the contract address is to copy it. Once you guys have it copied, we can go back over to Trust Wallet and open that up. Once we're back in Trust Wallet, we want to go to the top right of the screen where you see the two lines and the two circles. You want to go ahead and click on that. And we're just going to paste the contract address up in the top search bar here. Once we paste that address, you would then see the Hummingbird Finance token pop up here. So you just want to enable that and click on Done. Once you have the token added, now we have to go over to where the browser is on Trust Wallet. If you guys don't see the browser there for whatever reason, just go to the second link I have in the description. It'll be over to the Trust Wallet support website to enable the DApp browser. And I'll just show you guys exactly what it looks like here. It just looks like this. And when you come on the website, you just want to go over to step one, click on that little link that pops up there. And then you'll get this pop up here. Just click on open. And then it will bring you back into your Trust Wallet with the browser icon there. Very, very simple and easy to do. Once you guys have the browser icon, we can head back over into Trust Wallet and we just go over to the browser. Once we're in the browser here, you want to open up PancakeSwap. And if this is your first time on PancakeSwap, you will have to connect your wallet. And to do that, if you just go to the top of the screen where you see the connect button, just click on that, click on Trust Wallet, and then you will see your wallet address pop up at the top here. Once you see your wallet address, you just want to confirm that your balance is in there for BNB. And like I said, just make sure it's in the Smart Chain wallet to do that. Uh, but once you see your balance there as well, you just have to click on select a currency and you want to paste that same address we got from BSC scan up in the top here. This will show you the token that we're looking for. And we're just going to click on add and add the token to your exchange. Uh, now all you have to do is set the slippage tolerance to 12% for this token. And to do that right beside exchange, you'll see the three lines there. Just click on those three lines and then set your slippage tolerance right here to 12%. Once you guys are done doing that, you will have to decide how much BNB that you want to put into this token. So let's just say, for example, I want to do 0.2. I can type in 0.2, it will then show me how much Hummingbird token I'm going to get in exchange for that. And if you guys are happy with what you guys see here in terms of the transaction, you can just click on where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. It just tell you right there to swap pretty much. And then it will bring you to another page where you will then see your withdrawal rate and your fees and things like that. So make sure you guys do understand that before you go through with the transaction. But if you're happy with what you see there, you can go ahead and click on confirm and just exit out of there and exit out of PancakeSwap. And then usually within a couple of minutes, your token will appear in your trust wallet. Uh, anyways, I really hope I was able to help you guys out showing you guys how to get the Hummingbird Finance token using trust wallet and PancakeSwap. If this video did help you out. Be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.